with her. And we've got to really thank State Senator Vincent Hughes. He's been a champion for the Pennsylvania Juneteenth Absolutely. Initiative to make sure we have funding to carry on such a great the parade. Man who rode with Paul Revere on his monumental quest, warning the British were near. One if by land and two if by sea. If the landings were lit, then prepare for the siege. On a noblest speech, we travel different directions. To ready who we would take up arms for protection. The midnight ride, it became known as a legend. A rallying cry from our past to the present. But don't limit my significance to just that night. Cause I've been a value member of the whole fight. For our nation's independence from all things British. It's in the mall home while bitten the good riddance. I was born the son of a free black man who was a master house right and a genius with his hands. My grandfather was the first black to own land. In the entire colony of New Hampshire, might I add. I was awarded opportunities that's shown to other lads. Had the best of education all thanks to my dad. By the age of 21, on property myself. It started to amass some considerable wealth. Then became a civil servant as working for the people had become my troopers' purpose. And it was all worth it because during the revolutionary war, the town of New Market where I live supported the rebel cause. I joined as a private and quailed off as a Langston's company of like house volunteers. With a 250 mile march to Saratoga to persist the rebels in a hostile takeover. As history notes, we won that fight. It sent the red coats scurrying back into the night. My military history didn't remain long. Cause black is a new market is where I truly belong. Serving the community at large as the first black man elected at public office. I was charged this task. From auditor to the town coroner, the public policy. I was not a foreigner. Even built the first library in my town that was open to all the white, black, and brown. I became chief architect of all new market. And the first archaeologist in New Hampshire's caucus. In the end, I serve my country in many ways. Whitworth, Chesswell, don't forget the name. And we won't forget the name. That was Vernon Keith Ruffin Jr. from the Forgotten Founding Fathers. It's a hip hop dance theatrical odyssey. Kind of give you a little remembrance of Hamilton a little bit. Keith, also known from Keith from Up the Block, performing. Thank you for that performance from the new Freedom Theater.